this is the belligerent weed that we seek out. This is stinging nettle. Nettles can be found in a variety of places, often close to, to us, to people. Um, they like waste areas, um, disturbance, uh, trail sides, overgrown lots, overgrown backyards, um, typically moist woodlands. Um, I actually remember the first time I got stung by nettles when I was a kid, and I just couldn't believe that this plant packed such a wallop. And then years later, I have a very distinct and fresh memory of eating them, having my revenge for the first time, <laughs> with the recipe very similar to what we're going to cook up today, a nettle soup. And I just thought, my god, this is incredible. The brightness of the nettles, that wild flavor, which is very hard to describe, it was really this incredible taste sensation. And ever since then, I've been going out and harvesting nettles and cooking them every spring. Nettles have more protein than almost any plant in the plant kingdom. So you can just imagine with a plant that has so much protein, all these mammals that have, you know, woken up from hibernation are seeking out nettles, you know, this time of year. And so you can just imagine that the nettle has sort of developed this formidable thing in this sort of arms race that's been going on <laughs> since the last ice age, you know. Boil them to get rid of the sting. Really, you just have to blanch them. Um, a minute in boiling water, they lose their sting. If you're making, say, a nettle pesto, you know, you're gonna be grinding it up in a food processor anyway. So your stems are fine. Um, but if you're planning on drying nettles, if you're planning on drying them to make tea, then I would say remove the leaves from the stems. But generally speaking, I will use all of this. If I'm making a ravioli, a filling for ravioli, I'm fine with a little bit of stem. Um, for the soup that we're making today, a little bit of stem is fine. 